Hey friends, it's Brenda Schultz here, the second grade through fifth grade teacher for Pittsburgh United Methodist Church Sunday School. And this lesson is also on behalf of Miss April Boyer, who is the preschool through first grade teacher as well. So today we have a lesson about friends. Now picture this, or if you can possibly get your adult person to get you one, that's even better. But picture a box of chocolates. So the box of assorted chocolates that has the caramels and nuggets and chocolates and all sorts of yummy things in it. Picture that. I have, I have one of these here just as an example, but picture that box of chocolates and you can open it up and pick out anything you want. What do you choose? Do you make a wise choice? Do you pick just the biggest chocolates you can have the most candy or do you pick one that is going to be the best for you? What do you do? That's kind of like choosing friends. God wants us to make wise choices when choosing our friends. We should always be nice and kind to everyone, but think about this. Um, if you hang out with friends that are good people and they care about you, they build you up, they, they are strong uh, followers of God, they're wise, they're going to help you stay on that right path too. However, if you pick friends that are mischievous, maybe they're not nice to others, um, like to get in trouble, they could kind of rub off on you too sometimes. So God wants us to make wise choices. Let's take a, a look at a part in our Bible. If you have the Pittsburgh United Methodist Church Bible, you'll be on the same page um, that I am on the most current version. If you have a different Bible, you might be on a different page, that's okay. And if you don't have a Bible, that's okay too. We're going to be reading the lesson. So we're going to go to Proverbs. So remember, you go to the very front table of contents and look for Proverbs. It starts on page 699 in the Bible version I'm looking at. So you're going to flip to that. Remember, that is like pulling the book off the library shelf. Proverbs is the book. Then like a chapter book, it has chapters too. So we're going to go to chapter 13. So that's the big bold numbers. You can go to chapter 13 and look at the little bitty numbers, um, verse 20. And what that tells us is walk with the wise and become wise. For a companion of fools suffers harm. So God's telling us he wants us to choose our friends wisely. Choose people who want to do good and want to build you up and make you stronger in your faith. Choose to do good with other people. I've got a really good example of a good friend for you, of somebody who really cares. I have tried to grow tomatoes so many times. I love garden fresh tomatoes. I've tried to grow them. I've probably killed 20 or 25 plants over the years. And a friend of mine um, who's really good at growing them. This year she said, hey, I'm gonna give you some starts. I, I grew them from seed and I'm gonna give you some starts. And I said, no, that's okay. I don't wanna kill your lovely tomatoes because <laughs> I was quite certain I would. And she said, you know what she told me? She said, I have faith in you. You've got this. So she brought me over some starts and she helped me pick out a dirt. She even drilled holes in the bottom of the planter box I got. And looky here, look at that look at that. Can you see this back here? I have already got quite a few little tomatoes and a big tomato off of it and I have lots and lots and lots more and this it's hard to tell but I am up on my deck and it's down on the ground. It's almost as tall as me and how awesome is that that this friend had faith in me, believed in me and said yes you can. That's what you want to pick friends that will do that for you with going back to school or you may be in daycare or any type of different situation you might be coming across friends be kind to everyone we want to always be kind to everyone but when you pick out those best buds your friends you hang out with god wants us to choose wisely not just pick a chocolate because it's the biggest piece of candy or what we think might be you know the the best in the box pick what's best for you and what's going to be good for you so remember that friend is like a piece of chocolate. <laughs> and I think you should all probably go have a piece of chocolate right now on, on that note. <laughs> Friends, I appreciate you joining us. Please come back every week 
until we're back in person, we'll still be here every week with a video and a lesson. And remember, God is always there, all the time, no matter what. What an awesome friend is that. See you later, friends.